I'm Mike, that's my M Coop, and this is Mike's M Coop. And yes, my Coop is back as you can clearly see. On the last video, I uh, had it shipped out because I had noticed a leak. And so I didn't want to drive it because I didn't know. But again, I don't know enough about cars to want to be tinkering with them. so. I had to have it towed. So that's what I showed you in the last video. And now let's take a look at what was done. I'm not going to talk about the cost, but first I do want to say the, um, these guys right here, luxury auto, love them. Uh, great customer service, uh, great care. Um, when I went to go pick up my car, uh, the general manager, Chris, you know, just spent like 15 minutes um, when he pulled the car up, just going over the different things, talking about what he'd done, what he had done to the car. Um, just really, really um, giving that white glove treatment. So shout out to Luxury Auto. And now let's get on with the video of what they sent back to me, which is really cool. And then... We'll go over this. Hi, Mr. Lawson. I just want to do a quick video on your vehicle to show you what we found. Um, so I guess you brought it in saying you had an oil leak. Um, we actually found a small oil leak developing on the valve cover, and I'll show you that underneath the car. Um, kind of tough to see up here. Um, but you actually have a coolant leak. Um, I don't know if you've been seeing a green um, kind of bluish green liquid leaking out. Um, you have coolant leaking out of multiple areas. First spot is going to be right there that's coming from your water pump and kind of see it building up in that little uh, area right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and raise the car up and show you the other spots it's leaking from all right so now we're under the car um, the second area is gonna be coming from your thermostat housing this one's gonna be a little tougher to see There we go. So you can kind of see it right there, that housing right there where it's dripping, that's from your thermostat. And then this trail right here that's coming down the fan shroud is coming from your expansion tank. Zoom in up there, it's seeping from the seam on the top of the uh, expansion tank. So those three leaks, I mean, along with the water pump, since we have to take the belts off, I'm going to add a belt to it because your belts are starting to crack and dry rot pretty bad. You can see right there. Um, so I'll put all of those items together, the coolant leak and the um, dry belts. You can see that coolant all dripping down here. And then the oil, like I said, is more of a seep right now and it's coming from your valve cover. So you can see that kind of building up. It's not bad. You can see where it's wet and where it's dry. So it's more of a seat, kind of getting on your oxygen sensor right there. So that's not too severe. Um, I think what you're seeing is probably the coolant, and that's the most severe thing right now, obviously. So we're sending you an estimate on that repair. We'll send you this video. And if you have Hi, Mr. Lawson. I just want to do another video on your vehicle to kind of update you where we're at on it. Um, so we're almost done with everything. Uh, we're waiting on two of the parts that are special order from BMW that should be here in the morning. Um, I went ahead and did a courtesy vehicle inspection to see if there's anything else that needs attention or anything safety related. Um, one thing is, um, I should have shown you when the car was down, but your inspection service lights on. Um, that's basically the oil changes included in that, the engine air filter, um, a lot of different checkpoints we do, lubricate hinges, check the suspension, um, check all the torque on the suspension, um, brake system, all that good stuff, um, refill all your fluids. Um, there's a whole checklist on that service, so we can do the remainder of the service for that if you would like that. And then two other items I wanted to show you. Your transmission mounts are starting to collapse, and this, they're actually hydraulic fluid filled. You can see this one's starting to leak. Um, and then your drive shaft, which is obviously above the exhaust and the uh, heat shield right here, the flex joint on it between the drive shaft and the transmission, which is rubber, is starting to split. Um, the heat just gets to it, and like I said, it is rubber, and it causes it to crack and come apart. Pretty decent split right there. 
spinning around. It's kind of splitting in that same area on all those joints where the bolts are. Um, so I wanted to show you that. Um, I think that was it, the flex joint, the transmission mounts, and the remainder of that service. So I can get you a price on that um, if you'd like to do that while the vehicle's here. Um, send you this video, and if you have any questions, let us know. Okay. Courtesy vehicle inspection, inspection, inspect vehicle for any safety related issues, inspect brake system, chassis, suspension components, belts, hoses, top off, and inspect all fluids, test battery and charging system, road test vehicle, uh, no charge. Changed oil and oil filter, charge, obviously. Um, diagnosed fluid leak, found coolant leaking from water pump, thermostat and expansion tape, drive belts are also cracking. Um, recommend to replace water pump with drive belts, thermostat assembly, expansion take, tank, and flush cooling system. Valve cover is starting to leak oil. Recommend to replace plastic valve cover assembly. Front drive, tra drive shaft flex joint is splitting. Replace flex joint. Transmission mounts collapsed and starting to leak hydraulic fluid. Recommend to replace. Inspection light on. Recommend to perform inspection service, change engine oil and filter, replace engine air filter, top off and inspect all fluids, check brake system, check suspension, chassis torque check, check tires and set tire pressures, and reset service interval. That one was done. Um, what I didn't do, which I will take care of next, um, that was quite enough is the um, washer additive, uh, BG MOA oil additive, eh, maybe not that. Uh, fuel additive, yeah, probably not that. Um, we already did that. Air filter, I thought they did that. Oil filter kit, I thought they did that too, but whatever. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? And all that for a grand total of thanks for watching